Is your air fryer truly healthy? Or is the industry not telling us? The great risks of preparing our food with one of these machines as they become more widespread? Or is the industry hiding significant risks when we prepare our food with these machines, as some claim? Today, we will uncover the whole truth. I'm going to tell you three significant health benefits of the air fryer and then we'll talk about five myths and risks associated with this fryer. And of course, at the end, I will give my verdict. Is it worth having one of these at home? I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will have all the answers you need to make the right decision. But first, please like the video. Let's make this video the channel's record holder for likes, because the more likes we get, the more YouTube recognizes the video as relevant and distributes it more widely so that people can become informed. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, activate the bell to receive all notifications, and spread this knowledge to your friends and family. Many people have and use these fryers frequently. We want to keep you well informed too. And tell me, do you have one of these at home? Do you use it a lot? Can't live without it? Where in the world are you from? Right below! Let's get started. How does the air fryer work? Air fryers are very popular household appliances that use hot air in constant circulation and high temperature to cook food. To do this, they use a heat source, electricity, and a fan. The promise is to deliver results similar to traditional frying, but without using oil. But do they keep all these promises? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the three main benefits of air fryers. First benefit of the air fryer, reduction in calories. And here is a fantastic point for the air fryer, especially in a world that is becoming increasingly obese. Calories. When we compare people who use air fryers to those who use traditional oil fryers, the difference is tremendous. And I'm not talking about a small difference of 50, 100, or 150 calories. I'm talking about 300 or more calories. Just to give you an idea, a single tablespoon of oil, whether olive oil, sunflower oil, or soybean oil, has more than 100 calories. And I'll tell you more, when you fry in the traditional way, without the air fryer, you use between 20 and 40 tablespoons of oil, and your food ends up absorbing between 10 and 30% of that oil. Let's put this into clear numbers. When you fry a food, it can increase by 200 to 400 calories. I'll give you a typical example. 100 grams of potatoes have around 60 to 80 calories, but 100 grams of french fries, the ones you take out of the fridge, not bought ready-made, have more than 300 calories. In other words, the calories multiply by four. It is more than that. The kind of fat! According to a 2015 study in the Journal of Food Science, air fryer fries have up to 75% less saturated fat than those fried in oil. The air fryer is a great ally for those who want to maintain or lose weight without sacrificing flavor. In a 2021 study, it was concluded that high consumption of fried foods was associated with a 22% higher risk of coronary heart disease, a 37% higher risk of heart failure, and a 37% higher risk of stroke. Therefore, replacing traditional fried foods with foods prepared in the air fryer can be a healthier choice. And look, if you want to lose weight, you need to eat fewer calories. And if the foods you consume only provide empty calories, without nutrients, minerals, or vitamins, you will gain weight, be hungry all day, have little energy, and be irritable. And a parenthesis here. Frying also increases the palatability of food, making us eat more and ingest more calories. A vicious cycle! Therefore, the first benefit of the air fryer is the tremendous decrease in calorie consumption. If you want to maintain an adequate weight, this is a great way. But of course, not everything is perfect. Second benefit of the air fryer. Improves digestion. Have you ever noticed that when you eat food that was fried at night, you end up having difficulty sleeping? It's common to have nightmares, feel acidity, reflux, or that bitter taste in your mouth. Not to mention the stomach pain, bloating, gas, and nausea. You wonder, why did I eat so much? And in the morning, it feels like your esophagus is burning. This happens a lot with traditional fried foods. And the reason is simple. Fats slow down digestion, remaining in the stomach and intestines for longer, damaging the digestive process as a whole. That's why traditional frying can cause acidity, gas, and that feeling of bloating. Have you noticed this? And if we talk about ultra-processed foods, the situation gets even worse. They have a lot of chemicals that we can't even pronounce correctly, and they cause significant damage to our intestinal microbiota, to our good bacteria. This is the second great benefit of the air fryer. It helps improve digestion especially for those who are intolerant to fried foods. Even for those who do not present symptoms now, the air fryer can be a great ally, significantly improving the digestive symptoms of fried foods. The air fryer, by using less oil, makes food lighter and facilitates digestion. If you suffer from digestive problems, you will notice a big difference. Have you ever tried eating fried food in the air fryer at night? How did you feel? Third benefit of air fryers. 
Reduction of toxic substances in food. Let's remember the serious problems associated with fried foods. When we fry food at high temperatures, we release compounds such as acrylane, which are carcinogenic and oxidizing. These compounds give off that characteristic odor that many people like. You know that pastry at the fair where the vendor never changes the oil? That black oil is full of acrylene. The smoke point is the temperature at which the fat begins to break down and release these substances. Knowing the smoke point of each oil is essential, but you can't control it when eating out. Have you ever asked the cook at what temperature he fries the food? Don't even ask because even he won't know. Another problem with fried foods is acrylamide. When we fry food at high temperatures as in traditional frying, we produce substances such as acrylamide, which is associated with cancer and inflammation in the body. The formation of acrylamide occurs through a chemical reaction known as the Maillard reaction, which is responsible for giving color and flavor to food during cooking. That crust. This reaction takes place between sugars and an amino acid present in many carbohydrate-rich foods. When these foods are cooked at temperatures greater than 120 degrees Celsius, acrylamide can form. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Air fryers also produce acrylamide, but the amount is much smaller compared to traditional frying. We are talking about a reduction of up to 90% in acrylamide production. So, without a doubt, at this point, the air fryer is far superior to traditional frying, and this has a huge impact on our health. For me, one of the most important benefits of air fryers is the reduced risk of cancer and low-grade inflammation. Of course, air fryers have other advantages. They reduce the use of oil, and you know oil and olive oil are expensive. Just from what you reduce in oil, the air fryer will pay for itself over time. Furthermore, they can be used to bake and grill food, making them multifunctional. Of course, it helps when it comes to cooking. I cook. I love the air fryer. Some newer models combine electric oven technology allowing you to prepare roast chicken and other dishes. You can even bake a cake! Even those who don't have much skill in the kitchen can prepare simple dishes. What's the simplest recipe you've ever made in the air fryer? And there are people talking bad about it. It's sad. Now let's look at the five myths and risks of the air fryer. Myth number one, using an air fryer makes all foods healthy. Do not fool yourself. If you add ultra processed foods like pizzas, frozen lasagna, or French fries, they are still unhealthy. The air fryer reduces the amount of oil, but does not transform these foods into nutritious options. Use the air fryer to prepare fresh, healthy food. Ultra-processed foods remain harmful. Myth number two, the air fryer doesn't really fry. What it does is bake with hot air circulating quickly. This means that technically you are not frying the food, but rather baking it in a way that simulates frying. That's why it doesn't have exactly the same fried flavor and consistency. But it passes, right? It's crunchy, it's delicious. And now, the risks. Risk number one, safety risks. In the US, millions of air fryers, including popular brands, have been recalled due to a fire risk caused by faulty wiring. However, let me be clear, air fryers are safer than traditional fryers as they use little oil and reduce the risk of burns and fires. According to American data from the National Fire Protection Association, fryers and grills are responsible for the majority of annual home fires. Risk number two, be careful with the non-stick coating. Many models of air fryers contain non-stick coatings with Teflon or PFAS, which are chemical substances associated with health problems such as infertility, hormonal changes, and some types of cancer. It cannot be crossed out! Pay attention to this. It's best to opt for safe coatings. Choose air fryers with stainless steel coatings, which do not contain Teflon. Risk number three, acrylamide. Although air frying produces less acrylamide than traditional frying, this substance is still present in foods cooked at high temperatures and can increase the risk of certain types of cancer. But also without paranoia, right? Of course, as the air fryer does not fry, the food can be excessively dehydrated, leaving the food drier and harder than when frying. If you like lean meats and some vegetables, that's clear. Knowing how to cook with an air fryer is essential to prevent your food from becoming like shoe soles. Did it already happen to you? Another problem is the lack of homogeneity in cooking with some parts of the food being more exposed to hot air than others. Have you noticed this? And also, some foods need a little oil in their preparations to ensure a good texture. The recommendation is to use small amounts of healthy oils, such as olive oil, to improve the quality of cooking without harming your health. What oil do you usually use in your air fryer? I'll reinforce one thing. Your health depends on what you put in the air fryer. Using pre-cooked and frozen foods is not healthy, even though they are crispier and less oily. Now you're tense because of the acrylamides. I know, see? So how can we reduce acrylamides in foods? I'll tell you some practical tips. 1. Add rosemary before cooking. 
Rosemary is rich in antioxidants that can help inhibit the formation of acrylamides. 2. Cook at lower temperatures. Reduce the cooking temperature. Cooking foods at lower temperatures and for longer can significantly decrease the formation of acrylamides. 3. Avoid overroasting. When you let foods become too dark or burnt, acrylamide increases. Opt for a light gold rather than a dark brown, especially on foods like potatoes and bread. 4. Food pretreatment. Soaking potatoes in water for 15 to 30 minutes before cooking can reduce the formation of acrylamides. Just don't forget to dry them well if you're going to add oil or popcorn. 5. Choose foods that are less likely to form acrylamides. Whole grains are a great option over refined and less processed foods are always better. Acrylamides are classified as Group B2 probable carcinogens by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and are linked to increased risk of breast, endometrial, and liver cancer. My final verdict, and if you've watched this far, it should be the same. The air fryer is a healthier alternative to traditional frying, reducing exposure to carcinogens such as acrolein and acrylamides by 90% in addition to reducing fat and calorie intake. However, it is important to see the lining of your basket. If it is made of Teflon and is scratched, replace it. So, is the air fryer worth it? My answer is yes. However, it is essential to use it to cook healthy foods and not be fooled by the idea that it makes all foods healthy. Its price is reasonable, its versatility is great, and it can be a great ally in the kitchen. Use it wisely, choose fresh and natural foods, and you will be able to enjoy delicious food without compromising your health. Did you like the video? If you liked it, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more health tips. And what will be the next video you will watch? I will leave two recommendations here. Thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay happy.